The champions have been honored and the first trophy has been claimed. Settle in as we rewind the week with the latest edition of Monday Backspin from PGATour.com. Welcome to the first Monday Backspin of 2012. I'm Amanda Balionis. When you put golf in one of the most beautiful settings on earth in Maui, Hawaii, you really can't go wrong. But then mix in 27 winners from last season, some tremendous play, and a fan favorite winning the Hyundai Tournament of Champions, and you've got yourself a pretty solid week. Steve Stricker claimed the first W of the season in his sixth start at the Plantation Course. This is his 12th career victory and a good sign for things to come in 2012, as 19 out of the last 20 champions from this tournament have gone on to compete in the Tour Championship by Coca-Cola. I'm sure the veteran will enjoy this win for a couple of days, but the Wisconsin native will have to get back to work and quickly as he set some lofty goals for this season. I'd love to win a major. There you I'd, go. I would love to win a major and be a part of that Ryder Cup team again. Uh, it's in Chicago, it's near home for me. Uh, to do that would be pretty special and, and try to win that cup back. Stricker now holds a perfect record of 7-7 seven and seven when holding the solo lead heading into the final day. So while the veteran keeps one stat pristine, we watched all week as players capitalized on the beautiful conditions in Kapalua. We witnessed Kevin Na earn the first Eagle Eagle finish ever on the plantation course. Keegan Bradley holing out twice in the same tournament for the first time in his career. Bryce Mulder knocking it in from 77 yards and a ton of long putt makes, which was no easy feat on the challenging greens. And then, of course, there was the unmistakable beauty of the island of Maui. From the whale watching in beautiful blue waters to sightseeing via zip lining, there was no shortage of those wow moments on and off the course. For a very specific moment, though, that SiriusXM PGA Tour Radio's Fred Albers remembers from the week, let's throw it out just one more time to Maui. Oh, Amanda, how can you not be sad to leave that kind of view right behind me? We leave Maui, but we leave with a lot of memories. What a great tournament, what a great winner. But I'm going to remember an isolated incident from this tournament that occurred back on Saturday afternoon. Steve Stricker at the time was playing the par 4 17th. He had a five-shot lead, and his fellow competitor, Martin Lair, drove into a jungle ravine. Now, Steve Stricker's trying to win a tournament. He has lots of things going on in his mind, and yet he did not hesitate for a single moment. He climbed down into that ravine to help Martin Laird look for what was ultimately a lost golf ball. He emerged from that ravine with five different golf balls. None of them happened to be Martin Laird. He was full of scratches, but just the simple act of kindness that he was concerned enough with a fellow competitor, a person who was trying to beat him in the golf tournament, and yet Steve never hesitated for a moment, went down into that ravine in order to help someone find a lost golf ball. It's an act of kindness that is repeated many times out here on the PGA Tour and just one of the reasons why this business is so special. Amanda, we are going to leave Maui, but the good news is we're still staying in Hawaii. We are headed to Honolulu, Waikiki, and Waialai. It's the Sony Open. Our coverage on Sirius XM PGA Tour Radio begins on Thursday. It is a 5 o'clock Eastern start. Aloha, Amanda. Thanks, Fred. In addition to the Sirius XM PGA Tour Radio Times, you can catch the preview of the first full field event on PGATour.com Wednesday.